are here with Lindsay and Jared. They are married happily to each other and they are both performers. Why don't you talk about a little bit about what it was like when you came, first came to New York as actors, what it's like being married as actors. Obviously you don't compete for the same jobs. No, but. No. Well we moved, uh, Jared moved to New York before I did. When, to... About 10 years ago. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been here for 10 years, and uh, I'm in Jersey Boys now, Lindsay's in Wicked now, and uh, we've been doing a lot to get into those shows. It's taken, you know, it takes time to get into something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. I moved here uh, in 2004 after doing a non-equity national tour of The Sound of Music, and I kind of thought I was famous at that point, because um, <laughs> I was Maria in the national tour of The Sound of Music, and I, uh, I was not. I'm not now either. But. Um, <laughs> You know, I have After to start, this video, though, you never know. Oh, I'm so famous. Then. I just start way at the bottom, you know, and work work my way up. But we did meet before I moved to the city, so I moved and I got my own apartment, um, which I, you know, stayed in sometimes. But uh, we didn't actually move in together for a few years. But it did make it easier to have a point person who had been living in New York City. Right, and I had a similar thing right out of college. I got a gig on the Disney Cruise Line in the Bahamas. And of course, I was like, this is awesome. I'm on a Disney cruise ship. Then I realized people in New York are like, we don't care if you're on a cruise ship. Right. Right. <laughs> but it was an awesome gig to have right out of college. Uh -huh. and, uh, and I moved to New York and did a couple regional things. I got my equity card and then got to do a show with Lindsay in Virginia in Summerstock. And we were, you know, romantic uh, leads in the show. It was called Return to the Forbidden Planet. Oh. And uh, so it's our first really kiss was show. in rehearsal, all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, it was great though. It was a showmance that lasted. Yeah, we got lucky. I mean, it was like three, we dated for probably three weeks during summer stock. And summer stock time is not like real life time, but. Yeah, and then she went out and on I tour. Then I went on tour, and it, it actually lasted through that, which was a good sign. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. because we were, we were going to run into that again. He's been on tour, I've been on tour. He was in uh, Chicago for a year and a half. Yeah, you and that's something as actors and in, the skill yeah, of and as, long distance And as couples, we've had to figure out how are we going to make this relationship work if I'm doing Jersey Boys in Chicago or, you know, Tulsa or Tampa or Boston. How are we going to make it work? We got married and then and had two weeks, had the best honeymoon ever, and then I had to go back to the tour of Jersey Boys in Philadelphia. Like immediately. Immediately. Yeah. And so lucky, luckily, Philly was only 90 uh, minutes away. And so she would come every weekend that's or I would come on. Yeah. But then, you know, when I was in Miami or St. Louis, you know, it was like, okay, we're going to spend the money to fly to see each other. So It's much it's much easier if you have an awesome job yeah. right. and we can were... pay to fly to Chicago every two weeks, yeah. which is what well, we figured for us to be happy and for the relationship to be great, we had yeah. to see each other at least every two weeks. That was the formula. And that's yeah. how I was able to do Jersey Boys on the Road for, you know, more than two years. Yeah. And now it must be nice having a support system where you know what it's like. For her to be in Wicked, you know yeah. it's like for him to be in Jersey Boys. Yeah. I mean, not exactly. No, but we, it is but nice. schedule-wise and too. yeah, so, and it's really cool. Yeah. Lindsay's gotten a couple commercials this year and a guest mm -hmm. star on a TV show, and I don't have any TV credits. And uh, someone asked me, "Aren't you jealous of her?" And I was like, "Absolutely not. I'm thrilled. It's my wife, and I'm her number one fan. And I, I mean, sure, I'd love to be doing TV stuff, but the more work she gets, I'm, I'm just happy, you know." Yeah, I mean, we're both in it together. We both understand, you know, one of us is unemployed. Um, you know, the other one isn't going to resent, you know, their inability to, like, pay as much rent. We just sort of shift everything because we know that at some point in our relationship, which we plan to last for life, Some of these friends we have that are gypsies and bounce, and they've yeah. got, they did three Broadway shows last year alone. Yeah. And of course, these shows open and close or whatever, but, but we we also know how lucky we are to be able to do you know, these shows that are running a long time and we can stay in them as long as we're doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Stability is, is, a, is a great thing. Exactly. And now, speak to the fact of being understudied. It's obviously more challenging because yeah. you have no idea when you're going to go on, yeah. what who you're going to go on as. If you understudy a bunch of tracks, so how challenging is that uh, as opposed to doing the same role? It's, it's uh, good for us because Lindsay, Lindsay understudies Glinda, and she does the same role every night in the show. I'm but in I'm, the ensemble, okay. and I understudy Glinda. But I'm a swing. I cover seven roles in the show, and I'm off stage. So um, Lindsay does the same thing every night, and I don't. So what yeah. is that like? 
Well, it, that you know, there's pros and cons to that. I get to be in the show and, and doing something all the time. But then I've been in Wicked for five years, okay. which is like amazing. But it, I'm not gonna lie, it's a challenge to sometimes to focus, sometimes because I can do it and I can do it well in my sleep, but I shouldn't. And it feels totally gross to do that. So it, I mean, you know, it can be an ego challenge too to be in the same show for that long and to be an understudy. Um, you know, you're like, well, I want to be, I want to be the real one. You know, I don't want to be the understudy. Or how come I can't get another show? Mm -hmm. But that's when it's great to have be married to somebody who's also an understudy. But that's the thing about her, her last year. She's booking commercials and TV shows, and so Wicked is like, it's her side job. Yeah. It's sort of hilarious. It's such. It's a, interesting. It has morphed into a different thing for me over the last couple of years. But I wouldn't trade trade it for anything. It's, Blessing. Yeah, it's wonderful. And I'm a swing in the show and cover seven rolls. So tonight, I don't think I'm on in the show. So I will sit backstage and get paid as if I was on. And uh, I cover three of the lead guys and four of the ensemble guys. And so it's an amazing job because sometimes you come in and, you know, or you go on in the middle of the show. Somebody That's what I was going to ask you. What's their voice? Or, and they're like, Jerry Bradshaw, the stage manager. Joe Pesci or, you know, covering the role of the black guy who sings so high that I'm like, well, I gotta warm up. I really gotta get my voice going yeah. to be able to sing what this amazing talent this guy does every night. Now, do you do you prepare a little bit before you go in in terms of warming your voice up in case you have to go on, or? Uh, if I'm not planned to be on, it's rare for me to go on in the middle of the show. I mean, in three years, I think I've gone on in the middle of the show four or five times, so it doesn't happen a lot. And <laughs> there's something to be said for adrenaline. You, yeah, that's true. If if you're like you know you've got a second to do some trills and uh, yeah. it's not you know Jersey Boys is an opera it's you know it is rock and roll at right. the heart so not saying that's easy but it it's not like I'm doing Traviata or anything I, you can sort of <laughs> jump in and you know rock it out. So. I mean I've had to go on uh, really it's only been super last minute once and it was pretty recently and um, like right at half hour right at half hour I found out and so what I see are a little bit different and so there's some like higher things um, and I used to I used to have all these uh, things that I did like this like whole series of uh, rituals and things to warm up and prepare myself I didn't have time to do any of that and it was still totally fine so it was interesting it was like I guess I don't really need to do all of that you know I mean I warmed up my voice made sure everything I could hit the things I needed to hit those key points and um, that's about it. That's all I had time for. I didn't get to eat dinner. So. I remember she said, she was like, I didn't do all my stuff, and it was still great. It was yeah, awesome. So, so, yeah. That's good. The adrenaline helps. Now, what advice would you give to people who are just starting out, whether it be as a couple, which is probably maybe not as rare as people would think? Yeah, yeah. Um, or we don't just. don't see any other people. It's hard to meet other people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or just starting out as a new actor in this city, um, either in not being discouraged or yeah. doing non-equity shows or, you yeah. know, what is what is your advice from the both of you? I would, I would say keep at it. It takes a long time and don't compare in despair. Like, sometimes you look, you look at somebody you admire or somebody who you think is like you or, or just somebody you know and you're like, oh, well, by the time they were 25, they were in a Broadway show. I'm 26. Now I blew it, you know. Or you, you can't compare your journey to somebody else's because, for all you know, you're about when you're 30, you're gonna really hit it. Mm -hmm. For me, when I turn 30, I'm 30. I said it. Yeah. When I turn 30, awesome. I'm so happy about it. Yeah. I'll put it on the internet. <laughs> um, that is when I started to work in television because I had to grow into my type. Granted, I got really the lucky. Young mom. Thing. Young mom type. Yeah. I mean, literally, that the year I turned 30, I booked all these things. Um, and granted, I was in a Broadway show for five years while I waited, so that's not too shabby. But um, maybe that, you know, your journey is going to go a different way. I say keep at it, you know, yeah, and don't compare yourself to people and, and think that you're not where you're supposed to be. But I also don't blame people. People come to New York and they try for five years and they're like, you know what? Miserable. Oh yeah, and I get it. And I'm like, you know what? I don't can't. Don't stay here if you're miserable. Yeah, absolutely. It's totally. It's a really. It's a hard business. But Lindsay and I both. You know, we paid our dues. Lindsay performed in the American Girl doll store. You know, she did the show there. And we both did children's theater, touring the country in a little van. You know, building the set for the show. Theater works. That's a good yeah. way to get your equity. Awesome card. way to Robin Karras and Theater Works. We got. Our, we both got our equity cards that way. And uh, 
you know, we, we earned them too. We, yeah. we didn't get handed our equity card. It's, I tried, I tried and went to audition after audition after audition and waiting for like nine hours to try to get my equity card in like a really high profile show at a big theater and that just wasn't in the cards for me. So I just eventually was like, you know what, and I auditioned for Theater Works and you know, got it done. But I felt like I was at a place where I was, you know, ready to do that kind of work and, and work in equity theater. You know, yeah, but we, bo we both catered and you know worked. Uh, you know, I worked at a spa and you know we had a lot of side jobs. Babysitter. Babysitter. So you know, it's not. Kids today see American Idol and go, oh, you can become famous like this. And yes, one in a million you can do that. Right. But you know. That if you're a theater person, you're probably not going to be famous. It's really about hard work. Except for it. And, and Lindsay and I, you know, we made a reputation for ourselves. And, you know, we we showed the work. We do our. There is something to be said for that. I eventually yeah. for doing a really good job or better than we have to do where we were. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, at Wicked, they've let me do these commercials, uh, this TV show. I had to I had to give them four days notice and go leave for two weeks to go to LA. And they were like, okay, because I had gone above and beyond for the last like three years. Right. So, you know, something to be said for being a great person. Well, and people talk, this business is so small, you know. Yeah. You walk down 9th or 8th Avenue and you see everybody you know and it's people favors yeah the extra thing and so if somebody's looking for somebody for a commercial or something do you know you know Lindsay Northern? oh yeah she's fine she's great I did this with her okay yeah, yeah. It's, you know reputation's everything so you never know who's watching now you're obviously not psychic but do you think you'll say New York based for yeah. the majority of your I career think, we want to have kids in like so. yeah I don't like, think I'll move to LA um, or anything like that and then I don't I don't know I don't really see ourselves at least not soon Even though they're weird thunderstorms in the middle of summer. <laughs> yeah, we're, which we're about to get it's hit with. Dramatic. We're doing good. Yeah, we're, we're, good. we're doing real. We're probably just jinxed ourselves, but <laughs> just want to thank you guys both for taking the time to do this. So um, Absolutely. It was a great interview, and uh, look forward to big things ahead for you. Not that you already haven't had them, but. No, I'll take all the We're lucky and grateful. We're thankful. Yeah. We really <laughs> thank you, are. God, for yeah. the uh, good weather. <laughs> thank Absolutely. you.